Hey guys, Ben Plays here. Welcome to another episode of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Um, why is my keyboard not working? Um, hang on. Uh, I still have my two friends here. Hi. Stay driven. Why is my keyboard? Thank no, it's like. not my keyboard that's not working. It's my. All right, continue. Yes. Somewhere between the keyboard and the chair is the problem. It's the Wazda <laughs> keys. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Um, <clears throat> let's read My a little line, bit I of believe. the text here, just to get. Could I say something? I was working undercover in the restaurant in order to investigate another case. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, yes, that's right. The secret undercover operation. Le Carnival is a high-class Western cuisine restaurant. It attracts wealthy diners, including many foreigners. Recently, there's been a run of similarly executed thefts targeting the restaurant's rich clientele. Okay, so this whole thing of having multiple witnesses on the stand, I'm pretty sure there's four witnesses on the stand right now. Um, I, uh... <laughs> That's unusual. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um... <laughs> I think it's a main mechanic of this game, though, so I'm gonna hate everything. Oh, brother. The number You're ready is for... You're ready for a plethora of voices. <laughs> Blubber macadamia. A number of such incidents have been reported to the police bureau. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say blubber macadamia? <laughs> yes, I did. You said plethora, so I said blubber macadamia. Huh. Wicked crimes indeed, Pilgrim. What about wicked whims? We wanted to nip the case in the bud quickly, especially with so many foreigners being affected. What is with that guy? Can He's I, got the can I just love tell you guys army. to look up wicked whims on at your own um, caution? Discretion. Like, discretion? Like, don't please care. don't. Please don't. But you're already looking it up because I've, uh, because I didn't phrase that properly. So that's why you were sent in uh, undercover, is it? I took on the job of a waiter in the restaurant in order to flush out the criminal. I've taken the liberty of highlighting that text. <laughs> He's just doing a Saturday Night Live thing, look at him! It seems likely that this Koban incident is the work of the same thief. No, do you remember the animation? It's being cut off, but his, his um, kid is yanking his mustache. Yeah, it looks like, what is love? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> it seems likely that this Koban incident is the work of the same thief. I've taken the liberty of repeating that line. Huh. So unbeknownst to us, there was a master thief at work at the restaurant on a regular basis. Was it Goemon Ishikawa? Hmm. The place was already the scene of several crimes, it seems. The carnival was the scene of several crimes? I don't know about the Master Thief part, but... The identity of the person who stole and hit Karakuta-san's Koban is all too clear, is it? What? It's her. Wait. I think the court would like to hear the defense's view on this matter. I can think of only one person, but... Hmm. Tell us, who's the despicable scoundrel that stole Collector Sans Koban and hid it under the no, stink? Him. him. Jesus! Yes, sir, no, sir. Obviously, it can only be you. Sergeant E.A. Sanosa? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's correct because of him. Uh oh. Wait, my sound went away. What? How? How dare you! You. You, you monster! Monster? More of a rock star guy myself. I stole that Koban, did I? I'm the master thief of La Carnival, am I? You're seriously accusing me of these crimes, cadet? But it wasn't me, it was Ido. Ido is the mastermind behind. You're blaming it on your. Baby? not even one year old child? <laughs> Really? <laughs> Even the baby's in shock. Well, throw me under the bus, Papa. Sheesh. Can't you let a baby be a baby? You would push the blame for your crimes onto your own son, an innocent little baby? Thank you, Reunus Okay. <laughs> it's you who's the monster, Sergeant Nosa. <laughs> 
So we have a thief and a killer. Okay. You. Oh, ah! Breakdown time. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. That's not a real baby, is it? <laughs> that was too ridiculous. Nippon Imperial Army, Sergeant E.A. Sonosa, preparing to stand down in the Supreme Court, sir! Also, now Sergeant he's got a Gunner. Wario mustache. Ah! <laughs> Wario! <laughs> That's distracting, Wah! too. Do any of you know of the extraordinarily low wages the Nippon Imperial Army pays those it expects to keep our country safe? I understand that the temporary increase in taxation owing to the recently ended conflicts remains in place. <laughs> temporary tax increase. Yeah, no such thing. And I have heard it's hard for lower ranking soldiers to make a living. Yes. All I want is to put a hot meal on the table for my son. That's why you were stealing Whoa. things at the restaurant? The place is heaving with money! Every three days, I'd go there and do reconnaissance for a target. <clears throat> and I'd enjoy chomping my way through a good steak at the same time. Sounds like he doesn't bother with a knife and a fork, even, which is worryingly believable. Hey, uh, <clears throat> And your target that day was the old man and his Koban. Yes, sir. Uh, he was an easy mark. I slipped the coin into my pocket without any trouble at all. Yes? A veritable phantom thief you are! This ain't Persona. I was all set to leave the steak I was halfway through devouring when it happened. Bang. Yes, when the professor was shot. But not killed. I knew that if the police conducted a search and found the coin in my pocket, I'd be finished. I do too. So I hid the incriminating evidence as fast as I could, on the double. I slipped it under the stake, hoping that, that I'd be able to rendezvous stake. with it again at a later date. That wasn't her stake. Yeah, it was switched. Yeah. Yes. Dot 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 dot. Everyone's da, da, saying da da, 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 da. Everyone's speechless. Dot dot dot. Believe it. Oh, I don't know who this is. This is ridiculous. Oh. Oh, it's Brett. Perhaps you could carry on with this absurd prattling in your own time. You have a very manly voice there, Miss Brett, for, for your first line. <clears throat> anyway. Well, Miss Brett. Oh, of course, dear lady, of course! How rude of us! I'm quite sure there's no need to detain you any longer at all! May the esteemed gentlewoman please be excused, Your Excellency! Hmm. Yes, indeed, Pilgrim. No! She's still on trial for murder! The theft of the Koban was clearly perpetrated by this baby-saddled sergeant. Alright, Golden. She mm -hmm. is not the one on trial here. We are. Remember? Yeah. You know, it would certainly appear to be unrelated to Dr. Wilson's murder. Of course it is. Hiding a coin under a lump of meat? The sheer nonsense of such an idea astounds me. I would say meat is a pretty big uh, theme on my YouTube channel lately, but this is going to go up much, much later than the um, Majora's Mask episode. <laughs> nonsense, <Okay>. is it? <clears throat> ah, um, well, oof. 
As for picking up your steak and biting into it without using a knife and fork... It's beyond nonsense. It's pure madness. Oh yeah, well, Is it madness? Sparta. Is it? I mean, I've eaten an entire tri-tip that way, a roasted one from, from Lucky's supermarket. Anyways. Very well, now that all questions concerning this witness's testimony have been answered, I'm gonna have another drink. Yeah. I see no further justification for detaining her. Hold it, Judge. Miss Bread, you're free to leave. Thank you, Your Excellency. Good luck, everyone. And good day. Ryunosuke, what's the matter with you? This is no time for daydreaming. Oh, no, it's just... Something about Miss Brett's parting words there got me thinking. I can't quite work out what exactly, but something she said jarred with me. I feel like there was a contradiction in there somewhere. Something didn't quite add up. If that's the case, don't just stand there thinking. Make your voice heard! Sorry? <sighs> you can think later, but if you don't call out now, it'll be too late. The trial will be over! Oh, God. Okay, are they introducing another new game mechanic here? Wait, Miss Brett! What is it now? I'm afraid, just one last time. There's something I'd like to ask you. Will you marry me? No, I'm kidding. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't want to marry her, she's very creepy. I'd like you oh, to explain God. the contradiction in your parting words from just a few moments ago. What are you talking about? What contradiction? Objection! What new student nonsense is this? Well, what parting words are you talking about, Ryunosuke? Hell if I remember. Hiding a coin under a lump of meat? The sheer nonsense of such an idea astounds me. Why is no one talking about the obvious... And as for picking up your steak and biting into it without using a knife and fork... It's beyond nonsense. It's pure madness. Yes, I'm right. What she said there exposed an undeniable contradiction. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to see some evidence, Council. If Miss Brett's words are truly contradictory, where is the evidence to prove it? Uh, well, let's look at the um, uh, help. I the uh, the, ste uh, the steak pictures, I'd imagine. Pictures or the steak itself? Pictures of the steak. Okay. That's her. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at the shape. Yeah. No. Zoom in. Look. What's that look like? That looks like teeth marks. Yeah. Okay. Um. That, that's a that's a bite same, radius. Same that, in is the a state. that is a human a human bite radius. But wait. That steak has basically the same shape, doesn't it? Right. I mean, I was saying before, it's obvious they switched the place, but they're really going about this in a really roundabout fashion, I think. <clears> hmm, <throat> you can't see it in this picture. Okay, but what am I presenting? Uh, Examine the steak. That was removed from the table. <laughs> I'd say this... It's not that? No, I think there. it is. Why didn't the music stop? The steak that Miss Brett had been eating before the professor was killed. Yes, go on, and so and what the hell? Who More told the orchestra to not play? The steak that was on the victim's table just before the professor was killed. Now you're just splitting hairs. Oh, shut up. You wouldn't know how to split hairs. Not true. Hair. Doesn't something about the steak strike you as very unnatural? 
Unnatural? What on earth do you mean? This feels a bit too long for a uh, I messed up dialogue. It's extremely no, obvious. Got, I'm talking yeah, about the shape right. of the edge where it's being eaten. Hey, Orchestra, you're supposed to stop when they present good evidence! Yeah, I know. I see we've noticed it too, Miss Brett. Notice what exactly, Council? Just a few moments ago, Miss Brett claimed no Englishman could even contemplate picking up a steak and biting into it without using a knife and fork. Of course she did! She's a refined English gentlewoman herself! Then take a good look at this steak! In particular, <laughs> the edge where it's been eaten. It's clearly got teeth marks. As you can see, there are clearly defined barbaric teeth marks there. Sometimes you just ah. want to bite into a huge chunk of meat like a savage. Just grrr, like a bear. It looks like Miss Bread has realized something. But she's screwed. We missed a lot of mm. ah, oh, ah. But that's okay. <laughs> that was supposed to be the plate from the crime so, scene. So, the witness, as she claims, wouldn't not. contemplate eating anything without using a knife and fork. There shouldn't be teeth marks in the steak at all. Objection! But, what is your actual point? Perhaps the delightful Miss Brett was ravenously hungry and... Oh, um, whatever you say, dear lady. As I said, I really must be leaving now. Who gave you that permission? Afternoon tea with the Minister of Justice cannot possibly wait any longer. Hold it. Of course, of course. This will be all over in the blink of an eye. Rest assured, I'm about to put this rookie in his place. Just leave everything- I'm sure that's what you said to your wife. I've heard enough. Your irritating little spectacle, samurai relic. Uh, that, did I say that right? Irritating no. little spectacled samurai. Well, that spectacled is spectacled sam samurai relic. <laughs> Tongue twister. Of of yeah. course, dear lady. Lady, lady. What's the matter, Miss Brett? Have we ruffled your feathers? Clearly, the witness knows what this means. She's realized the catastrophic implications these teeth marks in the steak have for her. Are you know, Skate. You do know where you're going with this, right? I've got two penalties left. Yes, now at last it's all come together, and how has it been 20 minutes already? Come together. The mysterious teeth marks in a steak that had allegedly been eaten with cutlery. The reason why the bloodstain I know I saw somehow seems to have disappeared. And most importantly, the evidence that proves once and for all who shot Dr. Wilson that day. But Maggie that's Simpson. not how he died, so does it matter? Right. I accept these teeth marks in the stake are a little unnatural, as you put it, Council. But what exactly are you suggesting that tells us I'm way too drunk to think for myself? Everything, Your Excellency. Everything? <laughs> yes, I believe that these barbaric teeth marks in the stake here amount to conclusive evidence in this case. Evidence that will prove beyond any doubt who shot Dr. Wilson. Conclusive evidence? How many times have I heard that today? You wouldn't know the meaning of the phrase. Typical Japanese empty threats. How can you be so sure? Oh, it's quite simple. If you really had such conclusive evidence, you would have presented it to the court long ago. Actually, the evidence I'm talking about hasn't been brought before the court yet. Hasn't been? What? <clears throat> but just because it hasn't been shown yet, doesn't mean that the evidence doesn't exist. Objection! This is absurd! The trial has run several hours already! I know, right? And, <laughs> and you say there's evidence yet to be brought forward? There can't be! I don't believe you have it! Objection! 
I don't, but there is someone who does have it, someone in this very courtroom. And if that person is willing to submit the piece of evidence I'm referring to, it will solve every remaining mystery about this case. Very well then, I have a feeling this will be my last request of the defense in this trial, mostly because I'm out of booze. Please tell me we're going to finish this, like, within the half hour. Who possesses conclusive evidence that'll reveal the truth about this whole sordid affair? Um, I think it's Hosanaga. Take that! Because he's got to have the other steak, right? Mm-hmm. Right. I don't know why I was hovering over, um, Nosa. The answer is obvious. It's, in it's Inspector Hosanaga. What? Uh, I have it? Yes. You think that I've been withholding conclusive evidence? <laughs> That's ridiculous! <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm not saying that. Everyone's attention has been focused on this stake with the teeth marks. Yes, and it looks delicious. Now, earlier this afternoon, Sergeant Nosa told the court the following. I'd enjoy chomping my way through a good steak. And as well as admitting to stealing Korakuta-san's coin, he told us that he slipped it under the steak. You watch it, cadet! I'm a superior officer! Man, Sergeant Gunny would never let this happen. Sergeant Nosa, could you please confirm something for me? Was the steak that you put the coin under, in fact, your own steak? Attention! Affirmative! Of course, I might be a soldier in the Imperial Nippon Army, but still... I'm not brave enough to ask a foreign gentle lady if she'd mind me manhandling her meal to hide something in it. For a second there, I thought it said manhandling her meat. <laughs> I mean... For a second there, that's that what I thought have, too. <laughs> that wouldn't have been wrong. <laughs> um, in other words... <clears throat> sorry. Take that any way you will. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, the stake that the detective submitted as evidence earlier. PG-13 really has gone out the window for this LP. <laughs> Was in fact yeah, Sergeant Nose's meal. <laughs> Just crumple it up and throw it out the window. <laughs> the open window that nobody else shut. But that makes no sense! That plate was taken from the victim's table! Objection. Yet the gentlewoman doesn't take bites out of her stake, nor did she have any opportunity to steal the coin. Of course I didn't steal it. To even suggest such a thing would be an affront to the entire British Empire. Eh, I don't know about the entire British Empire. Well then, how do you explain this paradox, Pilgrim? Exactly! Surely you're not going to suggest that the sergeant switched the two stakes over. No. Da 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 da, Pilgrim. You did switch the plates? Well, after it happened, the, um... When I saw the civilian had been murdered right in front of my eyes like that, I panicked. As I said, I immediately lifted my stake and hid the coin underneath it. But then when the waiter announced he was an undercover policeman, I thought I'd had it. If he decided to investigate my slab of meat, that'd be it. I'd be getting my marching orders. I think you're still gonna get those now. <clears throat> so when the cadet here was arrested and taken off to the kitchen, I seized my chance. With military precision and timing, I switched my stake with the one on the foreign lady's table. What? You can't have! I, I never saw you do such a thing! It was called Operation Lightning Bolt. There was no time for strategic planning. It was do or die, I tell you, so yes! 
I did what had to be done. Unbelievable! <clears throat> Inconceivable. However, fear not, Prosecutor San. What now? <clears throat> I swear on the brass buttons of my uniform, that's all I did, sir. All you did? That's plenty, Sergeant. Yes! <clears throat> yes! So, if Sergeant Nosa switched the plates over, it means he took Miss Brett's steak, and the plate it was on, back to his own table. Yes, that certainly follows. Inspector Hosanaga. <clears throat> yes? Earlier in this trial, you told the court this. You said that you had not only taken Miss Brett's stake after the incident, but also the sergeant's. That to preserve evidence, you had taken both. Ooh, she's not happy! <clears throat> That's correct. Then please present it to the court now. The plate that was actually on the victim's table at the precise moment he was shot. What can that possibly tell us now? How much of a sloppy eater you are. I mean, a cold slab of tough meat? It can't have the slightest bearing on the case. Objection! <clears throat> no, you're not wriggling your way out of this time, old lady. I, I beg your pardon? Surely you're not that forgetful. Surely you remember the reason why this steak pan promises to prove such a problem for you, no? <coughs> oh, you're the ones who decided it was a problem, not me. Your face says it all. The reason the defense wanted to see that plate was to confirm something the defendant remembers seeing. Just... <laughs> Thinks he remembers. I'm quite sure of what I saw, Miss Brett. On the side of the plate that was on the table directly behind Dr. Wilson, there was a clear spattering of blood from the gunshot wound to the victim's chest. I believe the defendant's memory serves him well. Somebody close that window! Now we have the evidence to prove it. The plate you were eating from, Miss Brett. <clears throat> Let us not prolong this any further. Inspector, you will show the evidence to court, or I'm gonna have to get rough with you. Present the beef steak and the plate that was originally on the victim's table at the time of the incident. Okay, I have no idea how close we are to wrapping this up in a little bow. What do you have? What do you guys think? You can split this up in two episodes, can't you? you? Have to, yeah. yeah, if I have to. Okay, fair enough. I say let's finish it. <clears throat> let's just do it. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, sir! He is so eager. Sorry for keeping you. Waiting. Sorry, that was my phone. I don't know if you heard it. Here is the other steak and its plate. And what, I assure Navi? you, the blood is not mine. Yeah. I didn't please, hear it. Feel free to ex please feel free to examine it. There it is. A nice perfect cut. The blood stain. It's clearly visible. Look. Yes. Yes. Now this makes everything clear. The blood you can see on the side of the plate shows that at the moment the victim was shot. He was facing the table with his back to me. In other words, it's impossible for Naruhoto-san to have shot the victim. Ah! It... it can't be! In fact, there's only one person who could possibly have shot Dr. Wilson from the front. I apparently fell asleep at my keyboard for a second. <clears throat> I'm sure everyone knows by now who that person is. Um. That's right, Miss Giselle Brett. It's you! 
。何はお前だ Outdone by a Japanese? Me? By a Japanese schoolboy? No. 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 <laughs> Your mic ate that up. It's going! It's going! And she's still screaming! <laughs> well, at least the birds aren't making any oh testimony. Can you imagine that? A bird giving testimony? <laughs> oh my god, the little birds were real and, too! And, and the. <laughs> The winner for the oh most God, ridiculous in the the Ace, the for the most ridiculous breakdown in the Ace Attorney series goes to Miss Giselle Brett. Congratulations! <clears throat> Please excuse my little outburst. I briefly lost my composure. I'm sorry. As did I, my swan. I'm I'm sorry, but if that was a little outburst, what does a big outburst look like? Uh, it looks like the War of 1812. Most unbecoming behavior for an English gentlewoman. Forgive me. <laughs> well, Miss Brett. <clears throat> Ugh. Gotta lay off the drugs. I think it's time you told the court what actually happened that day. The truth this time. Gladly, Your Excellency. Remember when we were worried you weren't going to get any lines? Now you're getting more lines than me. Yeah. <laughs> Even a giant scream. It was I who took the professor's life using curare. As you surmised, I chose that particular day for one very important reason. The professor had a dental appointment for the extraction of one of his teeth in the morning. So you plan to kill the professor knowing that no trace of poison would be found in his water. Because Kurari is unheard of here in Japan. Yeah, that Batman comic won't be out for another couple hundred years. Of course, I never intended to remain at the restaurant for as long as I did. I only needed to see the professor take one tiny sip of his water and it would be all over. I would place the steak I had ordered in front of him to make it appear as though he had been dining alone. And leave immediately. However... Sorry, did I skip a line? Mm -mm. No. Before any of that happened, there was an unexpected visitor at the professor's table. That would be me, I suppose. <laughs> Yes, you. Who else? <clears throat> Hello, my boy. Such a trifling matter, but the fact that you decided to come over and greet the professor... ...meant that I had lost my chance to slip away unnoticed. Mm-hmm, I see. I see. In due course, the professor took a sip of his water and was paralyzed. I made sure he was sitting in his chair, such that he wouldn't fall. There was no going back at that point. So I concocted a plan on the spur of the moment. So you just happened to have a gun on you at the time? I plan to pin Dr. Wilson's murder on this innocent man. I can't forgive that. I happen to know that the professor always carried a gun. Oh, it's the oh, professor's yeah. gun. I decided to use that fact to my advantage. I had the bottle of curare in my handbag. And... 
My own pistol concealed under my skirt. So it was under her skirt the whole time? Uh, under your the skirt? The whole time? The whole time. So I was right, there were two guns. Yes. And then I finished my coffee and got up to leave. That's when I noticed the professor's gun, which you had presumably placed on the floor. Placed where you were sure that I would notice it. And everything went according to plan. You noticed the gun, as I'd intended. And then, just as you bent down to pick it up... Bang. That's when you shot the professor with your own gun. Even though at that point, he was already dead. Naturally, the gunshot caused a commotion, at which the point the waiter appeared. I wonder, oh. might I speak with you in private later? Bow, bow, wow. I shall call on you. Thank you. Good day then, everyone. What? I hope you can forgive me, Naruhado-san. Wait, she's not being immediately taken to jail? What? What the deuce? Uh, the hell is this case? Or I don't even know if I want to play the rest of this game. It's it's already breaking that. my brain. It's, uh, it's a breaking uh, it's breaking something that requires a lot of my blood. It would seem I this trial has finally run its course. <laughs> Oh, uh, she'll get punished. I presume uh, the prosecution is in agreement. Sorry, what were you saying? About her getting punished? <laughs> this, this can't be. Takatsuchi Ouchi does not lose. Not to the likes of this, this rookie student. Hmm. You better start getting used to tough opposition. Rinosuke Naruhodo! Yes? Down. This insult to the Auchi family name will never be forgotten. Oh, um, your ancestors should prepare for more insults descendants. to the Auchi. <laughs> yeah. Descendants. Yeah, yeah, descendants. Sorry. Hmm. You become conceited with age counsel, but the old have to stand aside and make way for the new. Ching. Hey, whips only! It's the way of the world. May you never forget that. This is before they implemented the whips only rule? It's a joke. Oh no, not his top bun thing! Man bun, whatever they call it, I forgot. It's yeah, top man something. Bun works. Top knot. Top knot. There we go. A thousand millennial. Bleh. A thousand millennia may pass, and still the Auchi clan will never measure up to the Naruto clan. <laughs> that is true! <laughs> this trial in the Supreme Court of Japan will, I believe, go down in history as the longest damn trial ever, and also the start of a new chapter in our country's judicial system. Despite being summoned as the accused, you, Ryanosuke Narahodo, presented an excellent case. Thank you, Your Excellency. The use of evidence and deduction to unravel the truth is a modern methodology. In the past, we would have just accused you and cut your head off. After all, it's only been a few short decades since our country opened its doors to the wider world. But the Western ideas of science are rapidly gaining acceptance here. I feel sure that science will soon bring new methods of investigations and new procedures of justice. A new future of law awaits, but what it looks like, I cannot begin to imagine. That is for the young to pursue. Kazuma Asogi. Yes? 
After this trial, you are set to embark on a journey of discovery to the illustrious British Empire. Bring me back some crumpets. Learn all you can. Absorb everything in the wider world that you're able to. And do not forget to fulfill the mission imposed upon you. Dun 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 dun. Okay, sorry. <laughs> dot 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 dot, Tibio. I understand, Your Excellency. What was that about? Why do you look so grave all of a sudden? It's called foreshadowing, my friend. Ah, never mind. As for you, Rianosuke Naruto. Oh, yes? In you, I sense, how can I put it, unusual potential. Almost like you've got a big PC stamp on your forehead. I very much look forward to seeing how you carry that onwards. Thank you, Your Excellency. And stop doing that eye thing, it's bad for your eyes. He's a cute protagonist, isn't he? Mm -hmm. It's time to deliver the final verdict. I hereby find the defendant, Ryunosuke Naruhodo. We all gonna do this together at the same time? Not, Not guilty! Not guilty. Not guilty! Yay! Oh, and it's flower petals instead of confetti. That's really cute. Yay! Sakura petals! Yes. This court is now adjourned. Tap. Ding. Hello! That's because back then Sakura petals were the confetti of Japan. They kind of still oh, are. Really? Okay. <clears throat> 22nd of November, 2.46 p.m., Supreme Court of Judicature to the blah 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 blah. Antichamber, yeah. You know what? I'm leaving that in. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe what's happened. I made it. I defended myself and made it through that horrendous trial. Huh. Ria Nusuke, you old devil. You finally pulled it off. Want your trousers? Congratulations! I can't. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Kazuma. <laughs> no, no, no. It was a pleasure to watch you at work. Oh, baby. So you owe me an extra large skiaki from the place on Yume University Street. Don't forget. What did? How did you pronounce that? Never mind. Sukiyaki. Who's who's that? Who's that? Uh, good afternoon. All your hard work has certainly paid off. Oh. Oh, oh, that's me. Congratulations to both of you for proving Naruhodo san's innocence. I hate when the hmm. game does that and doesn't tell you which character it is saying the thing. Because <sighs> well, they don't, they don't expect people to be reading the lines out loud like that. True. Yeah. Ah, our trusty Maya. You worked so hard for that result, too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I didn't do anything. Thank you so much! If we hadn't had that research report of Miss Brett's, I don't know how things would have turned out. Your kind words should really be for my father. I was simply doing as he asked. It was his idea for me to go to the university and investigate. Your father? Ah oh, yes, of course. Professor Mika Doba. Should I read this again? Nah. Okay. Sasato Mikitoba. Her name's Mikitoba. Right. Speaking of Mikitoba. <clears throat> ah, so you are, my boy. I believe congratulations are in order. <clears throat> the Ferric Symbol. Now, Hodo, you did an excellent job. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It is I who shall be thanking you, after all. Your efforts exposed the true criminal that took the life of my good friend, Herr Wilson. Good friend. Oh yes, you mentioned that before. It was you who actually invited Dr. Wilson to Yume University, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yes. That's right. Hmm. Professor Mikotoba studied overseas himself 
He went to study forensic medicine in Great Britain. Presumably that's when you met Dr. Wilson. So I should have made him British. E exactly. In those days, we worked together in the same hospital. Oh, you worked together? Hmm. I've never heard you mention that before. Well, it was a long time ago now. Besides... It's your turn, Asogi. Uh, well, someone Britain closed the window! Country. Great Britain is a magnificent country. It leads the world. In science, in medicine, in engineering, culture, and of course, in law and air pollution. Watch and learn, my boy. See what's happening in the world's largest melting pot. What, America? I will. <clears throat> I will. All or all that I can. I don't think America was discovered yet. No, 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 this is like 1890-something-something. Something. I swear on this spirit really? of the Asoya clan. You're not taking that sword to Great Britain, are you? Huh, of course I am. It's a sword. Why wouldn't I take it? A Japanese man's katana is his soul. This blade shows me where I need to go. Father, guide my sword. And cuts down anything that's in my way. Yes, I've definitely seen how sharp it is already with my own eyes. That reminds me, what happened to the woman? To Giselle Brett, I mean. After all, she is guilty of murder. Ah, yes, her. It's not easy to tell you this, but... What do you mean? Surely she's going to face trial herself now. She's the true culprit, after all. The Fraulein will be leaving Japan in the very near future, for Shanghai. What? Shanghai? Dot 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 dot. Giselle Brett will not appear in court again in this country, I am certain of that. What? But why not? It's a matter no of idea. consular jurisdiction! Okay, apparently that's the bailiff. That's Inspector oh. Hosunaga. Never mind then. <laughs> Inspector Hosanaga. It was a hard-fought battle in the courtroom today. Very impressive <laughs> to watch. <laughs> I must congratulate. But what's all this about consular jurisdiction? <laughs> I'm going to press my glasses. Yes. We cannot try this particular foreigner for her crimes here in Japan. Oh God, I was joking. How come? The fuck on. What? We can't try her? But then who? Who's going to bring her to justice? Kira! A British consular court will hear her case somewhere far away where our voices can't be heard. But why a cons consular court? Professor, I simply don't understand. I thought consular courts were a thing of the past now that we've signed the friendship treaty. And I thought friendship was magic. Uh, yes, on the normal circumstances, you're right. Then, so long as this is not a serious incident of a highly political nature to our respective governments... They can't invoke a consular court just like that! Oh, can't they? Yes, she's a student, but it doesn't justify our government making secret agreements about her fate, does it? Something strange is going on. Something's wrong, I can feel it. As it don't, don't, don't. So Miss Brett can't be held accountable for her actions here in Japan. I am afraid that for the young Fraulein student... Uh... Today's trial was nothing more than a game all along. There was never any danger of comeuppance for her. I don't believe it. <clears throat> The British government's foreign affairs ministry has demanded that we hand over custody of Miss Brett. They're obviously taking this case of a foreign student committing murder very seriously. Very German dots. But it's all going to change from now on. We can make it change. 
This is a time of great turmoil, this new era heralded by the start of the 20th century. One day, I have no doubt, that woman will receive the judgment she deserves. Uh. Yes, change is coming, and we're the ones driving it. Well, I think that's enough seriousness for now. This evening calls for a celebratory drink. But, Professor... Hm. You're right! This is no time for gloomy faces. A smile better befits a hero. We should be celebrating Ryunosuke's not guilty verdict. Let's start having some fun! <clears throat> In that case, might I suggest Le Carnival? As the head waiter, I should be delighted to take the liberty of providing you with ample food and drink. Um, you're a detective, Hosunaga-san, aren't you? <coughs> Why are you me? Let's not worry about details for now. I... Probably makes good money at the carnival. Will you accompany us, Professor? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, but of course, the carnival's food is second to none. I shall go and attend to the paperwork for Naruhado-san's release. Oh yes, thank you. So Giselle Brett won't be tried here. I, I suppose that means I'll never know. I'll never find out why she killed Dr. Wilson. Yeah. I do want to interject for just a moment. I know that a lot of names have like underlying meanings or are puns. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to find out exactly what Giselle's was, and I looked it up. Yeah, it's a type of gun, isn't it? But Giselle okay. is a type of bullet, and Brett is supposed to be bullet. Giselle, Brett, Giselle, bullet. Okay. It doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Kazuma? Yeah, they, they said they really messed it up for the English version. Yes, Ryunosuke? I just wanted to say thanks again, that's all. You really saved my butt today. <laughs> I didn't do a thing! You were the lawyer in there, weren't you? That defense was all your own work. Believe it! Your skills made the difference, though. One day I'll bet, I bet you'll be the best lawyer in the world. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? To be honest, something kept occurring to me over and over during that trial. I couldn't help thinking that maybe you're the one destined to be a great lawyer, not me. <laughs> what? Come on, be serious. Hmm. If I helped you today, it was only right at the very start of the trial. You have a natural talent for it. For being a defense lawyer, I mean. Oh, maybe he should be a prosecutor. Oh no, not me. All that tense verbal combat? I never want to go through that ever again. Too I just, bad you're the main character. I did what you told me to do, that's all, because I knew I could trust you. That's the point. Sorry? What do you mean, that's the point? Hm. Listen, Ryunosuke. Do you know what the most crucial weapon is that any lawyer needs in order to win? Uh, knowledge of the law? No. The ability to believe it. To believe? To believe what? A defense lawyer has to fight for his clients. He has to believe in him at all times. Make you believed in me when I said I didn't do it. I think he means like how, but... I'm human just like you. I don't have some superhuman ability to know the truth. But you have to make a choice about what to believe in and stick to it when you're defending someone. Sometimes in the courtroom, you can be really backed into a corner. But being able to remain faithful to what you choose to believe in even then. Well, that's not something that just anyone can do. It takes a special kind of person. Hmm, believing in your client. That worked so hmm. out so well for someone else one time. 
was curious about, about, about that. I was curious about the other details about the Giselle bullet thing, and because um, okay. I knew there was more to it, and uh, so I decided to look okay. it up again. It uh, the Giselle bullet is actually uh, in the Sherlock Holmes stories. Doctor Watson was sh shot by a Giselle bullet. Mm. Okay. So you keep calling him Watson. Okay, I know because he was Watson in Japanese. Interesting. Yeah, that's because he is. <laughs> I am a student lawyer with precious little real experience, but you never stopped believing in me. Hold on to that feeling. Well, I. <laughs> you face seemingly hopeless situations time and again, but you never stop looking for the truth. And in the end, you found it, through your own efforts, and because you never stopped believing in me. Thanks, Kazuma. Very somber, dot dot dot. There's something I want to ask you, actually. Ryunosuke, do you want to get coffee biscuits with me? Well, it's a favor, really. Something very important to me. Yeah, uh, he's gonna ask him out for coffee biscuits. It sounds serious, what is... Ah, oh, you're still here, are you? Oh, Inspector Hosonaga. I've taken the liberty of arranging some rickshaws for us. Let's go! Thank you. We'll be right there. What was he just about to ask? Let's pick up this conversation again later. We should be celebrating right now. Your first court victory! And your study tour to Great Britain, don't forget. <laughs> ah, yes, that too. Come with me! So my very first trial came to an end. Finally. Kazuma. Professor Mikotoba. Susato-san, who acted as my assistant. Um... Inspector Hosanaga, who didn't really play much of a part, but still. Oh, what? No! <laughs> Come on! He played more of a part than Susato, I'm sorry! <laughs> yeah, Susato was barely there. <laughs> it was because of the help and support of all these people that I managed to get through that trial. <laughs> was that supposed to be a joke? Because Inspector Hosanaga was way more helpful than Susato. Right? Well, no, Susato was helpful, but she was there. She had like five minutes of screen time, whereas, um,. Hosonaga-san was there longer. But more yep. importantly, Kazuma hadn't yet managed to ask his favor of me. Little did I realize oh no. just how much it would change my life. Okay. I, I totally thought they were going for a little did I realize I never would have the chance to ask it. To ask what the Thank favor God. was. <laughs> hey, achievement unlocked. Achievement unlocked. Only you guys will see that. What did it say? Defense <laughs> debut? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Looks like that's the end of that case. Alright, that's the, the end of that case. I'm not ready for the next case. I gotta go to bed. So, um... We'll see you guys in the Wait, next this... episode. No. Speckled Band? Wow. The Adventure of the Unbreakable Speckled Band. Nice. Oh. Wait a second. Spoilers! Spoilers! Wow, there's a lot of anything I want. That's not. Don't put that power in my hand. Well, I'm not gonna do it out no of order, kidding. but like. Spoilers! All right. With that, anyway. um, I'm probably gonna end up splitting this into two videos anyway. But that, um, yeah, that See was. See next time. It's one of the great Ace Attorney adventures. See you guys next time. Peace. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page, where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.